How's it going, LP viewers? In the last video I asked you, if you can go invisible, what would you do? And this is what you said. Today's comment question of the day is, when's your birthday? So this didn't last long. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, they broke up. Again. But the question is, is it the last time for good? We will never know. They've broken up so many times, everybody's lost count. There's probably a person out there who tracks these things, and he probably lost count as well. It just seems like Justin Bieber has two sides to him. There's the attention-seeking side part of him. That side is addicted to the drama and chaos, and it usually involves paparazzi and courtroom drama. And then there's the other side, the sweet, the romantic side that likes Selena Gomez. So apparently Selena Gomez, she was going through Justin Bieber's phone, and guess what she found? She found texts from his ex-girlfriend, Kendall Jenner. He's still talking to her. And this isn't the first time that she's caught him doing this. This is actually history repeating itself. Back in April of this year, the same thing happened and she just cut off Kendall Jenner and Justin Bieber from her life. And right now, Selena Gomez has actually unfollowed Justin Bieber on Instagram. So it just comes down to Selena Gomez doesn't trust Justin Bieber anymore. Maybe it's finally time for her to forget about him and move on. Okay, so there's this story about a six-year-old Kara O'Brien. She fell off a bouncing castle at a family party. She was just left face down laying on the ground. And this is because her mother was way too scared to move her. Because she feared if they move her, something bad or wrong is going to happen. Her mother thought Kara's back was broken. So 911 was called and it was called many times. A matter of fact, it was five times. And this is because it took the ambulance three hours to arrive on scene. Kara was screaming in so much pain and her mother had no idea why it was taking so long. I mean, the hospital was 10 minutes away. And I know a lot of you guys are probably like, well, what the heck? Why didn't the mother just take her to the hospital if it's only 10 minutes away? Well, remember, Moving her is a bad idea, and I totally agree with that. So apparently the operator who picked up the 911 phone call, she said it took so long because there's other priorities out there, like people having heart attacks. So I guess a little girl with a broken back isn't priority. So the mother was frustrated, and she was saying she doesn't blame the paramedics. Because when they arrived on scene, three hours later, they were brilliant. Moving on to the first ever 3D print vehicle. It cost just over $17,000. And it was made from only 49 parts, which is significantly less than the normal car. The normal car has about 5,000 pieces to it. The tires, the battery, and the suspension are the only pieces that were made how they're usually made. So I guess not everything of the car could be 3D printed. So the top speed of the car is 64 kilometers an hour. But this is the first model, so I bet you it's just going to get faster and faster from here. And when your car breaks down, all you have to do is 3D print the parts that you need. Okay, let me take you guys over to China where Yang Zheng Wang has been dubbed China's hacking prodigy. And also he can be considered the world's youngest hacker at the age of 13. The junior high school school student is already working in a university in Beijing. He has already spoken at the 2014 Chinese Internet Security Conference. He said to build up an internet security, you have to first attack it and find its weakest point. This little guy has already contacted a popular Beijing-based software company. He was telling them they potentially have flaws in their system. How Wang started was when he was younger, he didn't want to do his homework. So what he decided to do was hack in on his online school system to find all the answers. And this is when he found out, hey, I'm actually pretty good at this. It's a little scary knowing that a 13 year old kid can hack anything. Anyways, LP viewers, it's all news stories out for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me, and I'll see you tomorrow.